Hi guys, let's welcome to my channel if you haven't been here before and welcome back if you have. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to make this spooktacular mobile. It's done using wire and fishing line as well. So it looks like they're going around and flying through the air. I've made the bats and some ghosts because I felt like they would be the best kind of thing to sum up. Halloween and they can fly around and stuff. I did try doing the pumpkin but it just didn't work as well. But I think they're the best thing. So you've got the bat there and you've got a cool little ghost as well. So you've got these guys and I'll show you how to make them. First of all I started off drawing it out, so a simple drawing it out, the outline of what you want to make. So for example this is a ghost as you can see hopefully. Bat here as well. And like I said, I did do a pumpkin, but it didn't really turn out that great. Like any arty thing, we do design stuff, and sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but that's the way it goes. So you start off with your design, and the way I do it is you stick a wire first. I cut off roughly how much I think I would need, and then I would bend it all the way around the outline using pliers so you've got your cutting pliers and the best tip for this is to use long nose pliers so then it can bend around the areas easier as well sometimes you have to grip it I'll show you because if you've got like that bit there you have to grip it and make it close even more because you can't push it down because this is quite thick wire so then I start like that so I'd bend it around all the whole shape till you get a kind of ghost shape and when you get to the end you let me get show you this one this little guy here you either can tie it together or like I have done here put it against each other because with this design I used another wire as well what is thinner so then I weave that around it as you can see so you do the outline and then you weave around all the shape of the ghost to give you like this cool effect. So I did that with silver on the ghost as you can see. So that is with just thinner wire so you cut it off and weave around. And then with the back, this little car. I did exactly the same. So you've got the shape of the back here. I mean it is a very simple drawing but you don't need anything really detailed because that's what you're just going to use as a template. You use the wire again and do the outline once again, same with the ghost, but this time I used this coloured black wire just because it gives it a bit of colour to it I feel and because they're bats, I mean you could do the silver as well but I think it just gives a bit more edge to it and a bit more detail and I just like it. Yeah, like that. So I thought that's what I'd do. And then the final touch, I put it on some fishing wire, so it looks like it's hovering. You could have it on its own, so it's like floating in the air. Or you, like I have done here, to make it into a kind of spooky mobile. make it look like they're all flying together. The cool thing with this as well, you can have it any level you want it. So you can have it higher up or lower or however you want to have it. And because it's fishing wire, especially in the dark, well not quite the dark because you need some light to see it, but it doesn't show up so it looks like they're just hovering on their own. There we go. I'd probably have it about that level. So then they look like they're hovering all on their own. And then you literally could tie it to the ceiling and use it like a little mobile. Let's see. Just make a little clinging noise to get them from the heat chamber like wind chimes. And for the top bit, I'll try and show you. I've literally just used the wire circle again and weave around it like the same as I did with the ghosts. I can see it properly. But that's the overall effect you're going to get. Yeah, I think it's quite a cute little design. And like I said, I went with the 
how ghost because I felt over the things were kind of float and bats fly, don't they? So that gave it the reason why I went with them kind of things and it's going to be a mobile with hung and then things flying around on it. This pumpkin's quite didn't fit into it and it looks a bit too much like a Christmas ball. So yeah, that's why I went with bats and ghosts. If you guys want to have a go at this, go for it and put a link in the comment box if you do a video of it, it'll be fun to see you trying it out and see what kind of designs you come with. If you like this kind of video, do give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you like this kind of arty kind of stuff.